Hello, my name is Dan Johnson and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new steelbook for the 13th Doctor, which is of course the most recent specials steelbook. Uh, we have Eve of the Daleks, which of course features the Daleks, Legend of the Sea Devils featuring the Sea Devils, and Power of the Doctor, which basically features everything. I mean, it's only been three weeks since Power of the Doctor came out, so they're really, really quick with getting these things out. Um, and I'm personally very happy that I decided to wait on the steelbook that I hoped would happen um, when Eve of the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devils were released in like a bundle. Um, and luckily, um, that paid off and they were all released into this set. Um, and I have to say, I'm really happy with this one. I think it's a nice little design. Like if you look at the front, for example, plenty of colour, looks beautiful on the camera, for example, and Jodie's taking focus. And this is what this really should be. It should be a focus around her doctor and celebrating her time on the show. And of course, also Chibnall, depending on how, depending on what your view of Chibnall is. Then if we go to the spine, we have this gorgeous artwork that folds over. And I think that's gonna look absolutely brilliant on the shelf. And of course they've labeled it the series 13 specials, which to me, I was trying to think of a way of like describing the, the, this year or these three episodes and I couldn't really think of anything that better describes than that. I thought maybe you could call them the centenary because I felt like the series 13 specials doesn't sound very exciting and you can't really call it the specials because that is what has happened with um, David Tennant's and I suppose the 22, 2022 specials doesn't quite work so I suppose this was the best bet. And then if we move on to the back, we have, of course, the J-card. And the J-card has either the Dial, extension of the Sea Devil's Power of the Doctor, plus a hint about the back cover, which we'll look at in a moment. Special features include the Dalek Extraction, Sea Devil's Return, Becoming Pirates, audio commentaries, which sound very interesting. Uh, and there is one for uh, the Power of the Doctor, I believe, which I think will be a fun thing to listen to, because I think Jodie and Manda are in it. Uh, the Power of the Doctor behind the scenes, which should be interesting, because it's uh, encapsulating... Once again, that feeling of and the time and the vibe of what that year was like for that production crew and a celebration of those people. And of course, they end it off with a farewell to Jodie and Mandy. Down at the bottom, we have a cast list as well as a whole bunch of technical information. This cover is uh, by Sophie Cowdery, who has made some beautiful covers. Um, I think my favourite was Series 6? Series 7? I think Series 7 is probably the best one. Uh, that she's done but she's done loads now and they're they're absolutely gorgeous speaking of gorgeous things can we take the uh, j card off and take a look at that back art and oh my goodness when i saw this i knew this thing was going to be beautiful the compositing is gorgeous the colors within it are gorgeous although it do feel a little bit dulled uh for some reason um but the image itself represents these specials really well i particularly love the image of ace um but i don't think sophie Aldrich would be particularly happy with the fact that she's got a lot of wrinkles. <laughs> and then of course you have the full image on the front. Looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous steelbook. So I'm going to take it out. There it is from the back. But inside we have, of course, as always with these things, the promotional leaflet of stuff, which as always, I'm gonna throw over there. Then we have our discs. And I think there is much to be desired in terms of discs. Okay, Power of the Doctor, completely fine disc. Lovely disc, in fact. Exactly what you'd expect. E for the Dalek Extension of the Sea Devils. I think they may have been having a bit of an off day and slightly slacking in the office when they designed that one. Um, could we not get some artwork on that at all? You know, like half E for the Daleks, half Legend of the Sea Devils. Was that not possible? I mean, I'm kind of disappointed in that because it just say, it says to me that these two specials don't really matter. It's just, hey, look, Power of the Doctor. Wasn't that fun? And then if we take out the discs, the artwork but on the back is fully exposed and on the left we have a, another lovely image of Power of the Doctor showing that gorgeous promotional piece of artwork. I mean, some people don't like it but I'm um, quite fond of it. Although I'm not too fond of the uh, split Eve of the Dalek, Legend of the Sea Devils because they're very different episodes um, and that treats them as sort of the same. Um, I do also think, because I'm a big fan of the whole left to right thing in terms of ordering discs, uh, Shouldn't even the Daleks be on the other side? And so the 13th Doctor's era is complete in terms of steelbooks. It is weird though, because in, when you like look at the collection as a whole, you have series 11, series 12, Revolution of the Daleks, series 13, the special. It looks a bit strange that Revolution of the Daleks didn't get anything. Like Re Resolution got put into the series 12 one, but obviously that didn't happen with series 13. Maybe the 
original intention was to include it, but after COVID and everything, they couldn't, well, it didn't feel right to add that episode first when you're calling the steelbook Flux. So maybe that's what happened there. I'm quite disappointed that they didn't give either the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devils a, a proper disc. I mean, that just feels cheap. And steelbooks definitely are not expensive and neither are the, uh, the Blu-rays. Um, although I do believe that the specials, like Blu-ray specials, don't actually exist. You buy them separately. So they haven't done like a complete box set, which is strange. Um, maybe they will do in time like they did with David Tennant's era uh, or David Tennant specials, but we'll have to see. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give a like, subscribe. If you are new, if your steelbook has arrived today, what do you think of it? Are you planning to watch Power of the Doctor again? And even what are your thoughts on Power of the Doctor and the specials? as a whole now that they are complete. We haven't got too long to wait until our next release, which is the season two box set, which is out on the 5th of December. Uh, so that'd be exciting. But until next time, all the best. Goodbye.